Now, what do you think about symbolism without substance? Now, now, now think about this for a second, because everybody that's in these organizations, everybody that's religious and belongs to a church and belongs to a mosque and belongs to a temple, this and a, a pyramid that, and you know, um, symbolism without substance. Now symbolism is easily defined as whatever symbol that is in front of that represents your organization or your, you know, your church or whatever, you know, that's the symbolism. That's the symbol. You know, and, and and from time to time, most often people have those type of relationships with you. It's a symbol relationship. It's a symbolism relationship. It's a symbol represents something, you know, um, and that's all it is. So all we ever have is a, 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 a relationship that's based on the symbol, based on the church, based on the fraternity when you're supposed to be really an individual with substance, meaning that we're supposed to be more than just the symbolism. We're supposed to be more than just uh, uh, who we are in the church or in the mosque. You know, um, if, if someone is in need, we're not going to really help them. But if we help them, it has to be posted. We got to videotape it. We got to record it. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? That's that's stuff like that. You know, we gotta, you know, we gotta um, mention it in the church, and you know, we gotta, we gotta, you know, write your name on an envelope and all of that, and you know, all of this stuff to give people recognition. You know, for for such a thing as as charity or simple help, simple help. And that's what I love about one of the things that Dr. Malakazi York did. He 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 was talking about learning to care, you know, so that, that just said a lot, you know, learning to care. And inside of that, he was saying later for the symbols, he was saying later for the symbols, you know what I'm saying? Listen, the symbols are going to be, the symbols are going to be this today. And we'll have a different symbol tomorrow. Later for the symbols. We wear the you symbols know, I, and the symbols find, shouldn't wear us. What I find interesting about symbols is, um, you know, it, it, it depends on the individual because let's say for instance, you take a dog, or a cat, which is a symbol. Mm -hmm. But depending on the mind of the individual, that symbol can be taken for something agreeable or something disagreeable. To some people, dogs are man's best friend. To some people, they see dogs as a ritualistic symbol, something harmful, something disagreeable. Um, so when we look at symbols, it really depends on the mind of the individual and how developed the mind of that individual is. And I think a lot of times people, as you were just saying, they get so caught up in the symbols and they don't take the time for their own personal development. Because as you mature and as you grow and as you develop in the stages of life, you phase out of those symbols. And to the point where the symbols don't matter no more, it's the essence behind those symbols. Substance. It's the essence behind you. It's the, again, the substance. Right. The sub. What's behind there? What's below there? Right. What's really motivating that symbol, that church, that mosque, the, the, the members of, and in it. And I remember the master teacher always saying, Dr. Malachi York, that we're so caught up in symbols and costumes and colors and mm. all of these things thinking that we're going somewhere and the people that we're bashing thinking they're not going to a certain place or heaven or wherever the, you know, people think they're going in a transition that it's the ones that you don't see. Right. It's the ones that are quiet. Right. The ones that are not making a lot of noise that will sometimes make the journey that you thought you were so right and you had all the information and you had all the knowledge and I know where I'm going. And then you don't end up making that journey because you were so caught up in the symbols. You were so caught up in the hoopla, the colors, the everything else. And you lose that human one-on-one -on -one contact. There it is. That's what I'm talking about. the essence right. of what it's really about. Right. Is it about a church? Is it about a mosque? Is it about a Java beer? Is it about a Masonic apron? Is it about a... Mm. Egyptian crown mm. is it, you know mm. what is it really about the symbol and have we is the brotherhood so mm. and our everyday dealings and have you know, sometimes we have to ask ourselves the question of have we become too smart mm. or that we're making ourselves dumb oh there it is you know 
has, and that's just like, you know, everybody is on this, you know, thing of saying the smartphone has made people dumb. And um, to me, uh, you could, an individual can have access to so much information. And if it's not properly received, and in order for it to be properly received, it must be properly taught. And just because others have been taught a thing that you have access to does not mean that you have been taught it. And so when I hear a lot of people post, uh, say things and post things on, on social media, much of it I don't even comment on because I'm overstanding the character of the individual. I'm saying I can tell by the wording that this person doesn't have too much wisdom. This person has may have access to some knowledge, but this person doesn't have much wisdom. Thus, this person doesn't even deserve me to put a comment or a remark. I might hit like, you know, based on what I've read or a picture, but I'm not going to comment because um, it's kind of like if you having a conversation with a baby and you opposed to you having a conversation with an adult, with, a, with an adult, we're going to talk like this. But with a baby, you're automatically going to go, hey, how you doing, little bit? <laughs> you know what I'm saying? The character, <laughs> the character of, of who you are is going to change. You know what I'm saying? And, 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 and so, you know, we have to stop feeling like we always have to respond to what people post and what people say, because, you know, it causes your character to change, you know, respond to that, which is for you and everything is not for everybody. So what's that popular phrase that some, most, that some people use sometimes the best answer is no answer. 